A more than 100 state boards and commissions could be eliminated. That's the recommendation today from a committee formed to reorganize state government. New at 5, KCCI's Bo Bowman shows what that could be cut. Well, Todd, the committee took the 256 boards and commissions across the state and narrowed them down to 145, recommending the other 111 be cut or consolidated into existing groups. All those in favor, say aye. 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 With that vote, the Board and Commissions Review Committee finalized their recommendation. And we have now provided a starting point for the policymakers and Iowans to have a healthy discussion regarding boards and commissions. Craig Paulson, director of the Department of Management and chairman of the committee, noted they assigned members to research and listen to the groups facing elimination. Monday, several boards and commissions, like the State of Iowa Youth Advisory Council, were saved or at least merged with other existing groups. We heard from uh, several very impressive young people who uh, made the case for the uh, council as a, uh, a separate forum to encourage civic engagement by our young Iowans, uh, which is a valuable function. The Nursing Home Administrators Board, the Athletic Training Board, and the Commission on Deaf Services were also moved from the elimination column to continue to operate as they have been or merge with another board. Remember that they're Iowans that want to participate. The only lawmaker at the meeting, Senator Tony Bisignano, a Democrat from Des Moines, said he worries fewer boards and commissions could result in a lack of diverse leadership. Bisignano also argued these groups provide Iowans a way to become involved with their local governments. Are all of them necessary? Probably not. Uh, do, they, do they involve Iowans? Do they get Iowans interested in our process? Yes, they do. The committee's recommendation will be sent to the state legislature, which will have the opportunity to vote on it next session before Governor Reynolds can sign it into law. Todd.